This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 13, Introduction to Arrays, Puzzle 24, Current Index. This app also allows a user to scroll through individual items in the array. In order to keep track of which index we are currently viewing, our application will need a global, that means outside of any function at the top of your code, a global variable that stores the current index. So where are we at currently? In, in coming exercises, we'll want our global index to change. So let's make sure your code references your global index rather than fixed values. Yes, okay. So we should put a variable up towards the top usually is what you do. Create a global variable that will and global means that it can change in several different functions. So anything in the program can access it. Because if it's within a function itself, another function can't change that variable unless it's passed as a parameter, blah, blah, blah. And then it's not really changing that uh, variable anyways. So global. Update set text. Set this to zero. Okay, let's do that. So I need a new variable. Variable. Um, index. Uh, let's not use index. Uh, favorite index, item index. All right, that's going to be mine. Item index, and we're going to set it equal to zero. Okay. I didn't want to use index because index also means the array. So I'm just going to say item index. Update set text, which displays the words to show your favorite thing using the global index variable instead of the hard-coded number. I just hard coded in a one here. So it, that's not what they want anymore. What they want. I, I am going to leave of. I need that string. But I now need to make this say a number. Well, what number? Oh, this is going to be tricky. All right. We're going to have it say item index. The problem with that is item index is always going to be one less than what we want it to show. So I did item index plus one. Let me show you in blocks. Okay. So now this variable, and we'll, we'll change this variable as we display different things. Okay. We'll be changing this item index, but we're using it because we can then change it and update it and have everything else change as well. So I can't hard code in one. I'm just always going to add one because if item index is two, right? two i do want to access index two but i want to output that i'm on three because that is the third item all right i think we got it let's uh see yep one code looking good great let's uh keep going